Hi everyone, it's March 3rd, 2018. I don't have a total tally on the damage yet from Winter Storm Riley, the Bombo Genesis. There has been a lot of damage and I'm going to show you that. But I'm also going to be reading comments for several reasons. One, to let you see that there are an awful lot of people who are clearly connected to nature and recognizing that something is very, very wrong with our weather. An awful lot of people on YouTube understand that we don't have natural weather anymore, that this is a creation of man using the technology that man has today, the frequencies, as well as the the aerosol spraying, the chemicals and the heavy metals. And I have often wondered, you know, when you try to get somebody to watch a YouTube video, my experience has been that it is very, very hard to get somebody even curious about what is taking place. But I have often wondered if those who are asked to go watch a YouTube video, if they read the comments below the videos, because if they did, they would get that an awful lot of people are aware of what's taking place. But I think, you know, that confirmation bias thing that we humans have we have a tendency to go to information that confirms our beliefs. My hunch is that a lot of people don't read the comments or they might read a couple and it's going against the grain, the cognitive dissonance. Just they tune out. They don't read the comments at that point when those comments are not confirming their beliefs. But it sure would be good and you might want to pass along this video to people because I'm going to read some of these comments. But I'm also reading them because I, when I posted this video, I said in the video, I'm not getting a clear picture of what's happening with the storm. You know, it seems that mainstream media is really exaggerating what I couldn't really get from looking at the satellites and but I did in those satellite videos show you that they were using an awful lot of extremely low frequencies. I showed in those videos the crossing of the frequencies, the cross, you know, and I've posted videos on Kafka Winston World about the dangers of the crossing of like scalar beams. Now, having read comments of people in the same state, and some of those comments are coming from people, and I think I have a pretty good idea of where they are. And some of those people are close, are close. And yet one person would say, everything's fine. And another person would say, this storm is bad. So, looking at all of the use of these frequencies, the extremely low frequencies, which are extremely powerful, but noticing the crossing of those frequencies in particular areas, I am wondering if that is the reason why this storm hit hard in very particular areas, and then it wasn't bad in other areas. I hope I made myself clear on that. But the comments, New England, now Jessica lives 12 miles from the beach in Massachusetts. New England has crazy weather, but this lately is different. It feels strange, like it's not natural, because it isn't. You're right. Cleveland, Ohio, the weather is horrible right now with heavy, wet snow, very strong winds, thunder, lightning, transformers blowing power lines and trees down, power on and off every four minutes or so. Well, I think that they're turning the power off. Yes, we're seeing power lines down in Massachusetts and other areas. 
But, well, it was Hurricane Irma that really got me to see that they turned the power off. So many subscribers in Florida were writing, our power is off and Hurricane Irma hasn't even come ashore, come ashore yet. So, but Long Island, no one here is talking about this? Well, that's pretty bizarre. Las Vegas, nor, uh, Nevada, the sky is not right. Um, Michigan, for 61 years, that's many winters. And this morning, we had the largest snowflakes I've ever seen. They were half the size of my entire hand. I could not believe what I was seeing. My first thought, what the hell are they seeding clouds with now? And another one from Michigan confirms that these snowflakes were so big. Um, not usual here in Michigan to have 50 degree differences in 24 hour period. Certainly not in the winter. And that degree going up and down, up and down, that's what we've had here in South Carolina. But somebody mentions Cabin Talk, who lives in Vermont, was talking about the very strange snow in her neck of the woods. Um, duck billed Flattypuss, I believe, is in Ireland. And please don't take personally my uh, kind of failing memory today, but I can't remember where everybody lives. So, but he noticed that the snow, because I said in this, uh, underneath this comment, the snow for the last few years I lived in Massachusetts was not real snow. It was definitely artificial. Didn't melt from boots for a long time once inside. Some snowfalls had bizarre colors that looked like small metallic pieces in it. Um, so Duck Build writes that he noticed that the snow on his boots, carpet tiles, it didn't melt for a long time in a really warm house. And another one noted, remember all those videos on YouTube where people were taking a match to snowballs and they were not melting but just turning black and they had an awful smell like they were burning plastic? No, we don't have natural snow anymore. Snowed pretty heavily yesterday in Ireland but only a few small flakes of snow so far in the north today. Very cold, strong winds. And of course, a lot of people are saying that they got heavy spraying right before the storm. Uh, Brooklyn, raining cats and dogs. I could actually feel there was something not right about the rain, that they're manipulating the rain and winds. Something is so not right with the rain here in South Carolina as well. Um, and just came up for Callie. Thank you for leaving this link. Um, landslides occurred yesterday in Galetta, Santa Barbara, Summerland, and Carpinteria. And there is no information regarding uh, the effects of those landslides. So if anybody knows what happened in those areas, that those are the burned areas in Southern California. Uh, Northeast UK, the weather here for the past five days has been terrible. We've had bad snowfalls, but it's the coldness of the air that feels so strange. It's actually hard to breathe. I noticed the coldness this winter in South Carolina that it was so sharp and it was also hard to breathe and it did not feel natural but a number of people have been noting that the gas supplies running low they were saying I believe in Scotland the gas supplies they were running out of gas and so many people have left comments saying 
that's it's almost impossible for the gas supplies to run low because they get their gas straight from the North Sea or off Shetland Isles, the rigs, the refineries to homes. And one person left a comment saying they believe that they're lying about the gas that the supply running low because they want to bring in fracking in this area. The lying to achieve ends. Any means to achieve an end. I can't stand it. I posted a video last night, Deborah Tavares talking about how, and it's on the front page of, I don't think it was the LA Times, it was another um, newspaper, but the front page, oh, they found uh, they found artifacts, Native American artifacts, in the area that was burned out. So they may very well be saying that, sorry, you can't rebuild. We've declared this a historical site because they don't want people rebuilding. So they come up with all of these lies and people believe it, which is really, we, regardless of what Western nation in particular, but certainly there are so many uh, mainstream medias in countries all over the world that have been taken over by our CIA and they just continually report lies and even those who we consider to be the sleeping sheeple or the willfully ignorant they know they're being lied to they know they're being lied to by their government officials they know that uh, corporations CEOs they always lie and they know mainstream media lies and yet we still can't get them away from the lies they know they lie, they come out and lie, they believe it, then they're found out that, oh, I've been lied to again, but then they're lied to again, and they believe it, and then it turns out that they were lied to again, and, well, so then a mainstream media or government official tells them something else, and they believe it, and then they find out it's a lie. I mean, how, talk about insanity. The same old, same old, expecting different results. And we never get different results. We just get to manifest a darker, more evil reality. I mean, Americans, what have we been doing? We've been voting for the lesser of two evils my entire life. I should really learn how to live stream. This is more a live stream right? And that way I would get comments from you. I'd know right away what's happening in your area, not having to wait. So I should look into that. But yeah, so the lies, man, they destroy. But Wells, UK, first we had an earthquake, then three days sun, then heavy chemtrails as well, uh, resulting in two days of frost, then sparkling snow. <laughs> Texas, keep waking up to a white sky. Have had a headache for 48 hours. You know those horizon to horizon blankets that they cover us with? In order to maintain that, they have to increase the frequencies. That's why a lot of people feel really sick or get headaches or their tinnitus however they experience it buzzing chirping ringing in their ears gets much much louder and I spoke with um, a friend in Maine yesterday and she was talking about how she has been feeling absolutely horrible, waking up with dread, anxiety, um, no hope whatsoever, just feeling incredibly bad. 
and I reminded her that she's living in the area of the Bombo Genesis, in the area where they are shooting off these extremely low frequencies using microwaves uh, to modify, intensify the storm. When we have weather, you know, right here in South Carolina, if there's nothing going on, there's no chemtrailing, uh, there's not a cloud in the sky, and I'm feeling a little bit better than the days when we had that blanket cover and we had a little bit of rain. It, it, we don't have natural weather anymore, so whatever we get, it is a product of heavy spraying and frequencies. So when they're doing these weather events, you can be guaranteed to not feel well. Ireland has been on lockdown since yesterday, just like with Hurricane Ophelia. While we have snow, it is not that deep, and where I am, it is still quite manageable. Fear-based reporting mainstream. And we have had worse snow. Why are we being told to stay inside? Is this the start of a police state? Well, guys, you know, all of us, especially in Western countries, I don't mean to um, ignore what's happening in other countries, but our Western nations, they're hitting us hard and taking us down. Well, actually, let me say, they're hitting us hard and taking us down in a different way than they are hitting hard and taking down other countries by their drone strikes and bombing and murdering people. We're all being taken down. But high winds, freezing rain, sleet, snow, and flooding in low-lying areas in Wayne County, Ohio. Uh, coldest record for March 1, UK history. UK in Cornwall. We have had snow and freezing rain, wind blowing and ice sleet, and everything has come to a standstill. We have central heating and our house was still cold. I ended up staying in bed with hot water bottles. I have fibromyalgia, uh, ME, and I can't remember what that is, chronic fatigue syndrome, arthritis. Well, I'm right with you, Karen. I have all of that as well. Um, food stocks and stores seem to be running very low. Yes, it's hard for trucks to deliver, but in the past, it's never been as bad as this. And I believe, Peter, are you in the UK? Can't remember. Um, England, we've had four inches of snow, but bitterly cold. Weather predicted temperatures of minus four or minus five, with wind chill of minus 12. Not been out for four days. I prepped beforehand, but we've had five deaths or more in the UK. We never had a red alert in UK in my 48 years. Ohio, the temperature went down like crazy last night. It's cold, but no snow. Still have power. And Naomi's from Marietta, Ohio. Still snowing here, winds freezing, everything shut down, pensioners couldn't even get their money, post office ran out of money, Ireland. UK, hey Paul, it's always good to see you. UK, and where I am, the wind has been awful for two days now. Worst I have known, and it is freezing. There has been snow, but not too much, really. Art lover, Scotland. Told for a few days the beast of the east is going to hit us here in the UK. It did. High winds, a lot of snow dumped. Where I am right now, None. 
where I live a tiny bit, but elsewhere up to 50 centimeters dumped and a nightmare of cars and other vehicle stuck. I've been frozen staying at friends because of being so cold. Not too happy to hear that, art lover. But, you know, but the mainstream media reports that I've gotten have been just Scotland, snow, snow, snow. And here Art Lover is saying that she hardly got any. Southern England on Thursday, when it first started to so-called snow, it was not real snow. It was little tiny round looking stuff, looked a little bit like and acted like polystream balls floating around when you pick it up off the ground and smudge it between your fingers it was initially cold and smudged like a gel type substance and clear almost glue like it didn't crunch like normal snow funny thing was I overheard many of other mothers picking up kids early from school and they were saying the same thing this doesn't look like snow well maybe they'll realize now something's going on unfortunately it takes an awful lot for people to come out of their uh, delusions come out of the matrix and a lot of it has to do with beliefs the indoctrinated inculcated beliefs that so many of us have and it does take a lot to work through those and so many have lost their, even just their curiosity. So you have these mothers picking up their kids saying, this doesn't look like real snow. Well, if, if curiosity hasn't been so blunted and destroyed, you know, that childlike curiosity that we had when we become adults, we, we really have, so many of us are just dead, you know, so many of the wonders of life killed off and if we could somehow get those turned back on then okay this doesn't look like snow I'm gonna look into it because I'm curious chemically nucleated cold absolutely right new subscriber from Scotland update on what is occurring firstly the warning people should not go out dangerous to life Never, ever, in 50 plus years have I heard this. Secondly, the forecasting. This snow was forecast for us way back in November 2017, saying we face the greatest amount of snow seen in 20 years. But it would not start till late January 2018. Really? So, they're capable of forecasting weather three months before, and they even know when it's going to be happening sorry that they don't have the capability of doing that they do have the capability of doing it when man is writing the script for these events but the snow heavy for three days in Scotland now you just heard me read art lovers comment who said hardly any snow where she lives but here, heavy snow for three days, a strange snow, not the normal flakes, but more like soft hailstones. Rather, and he too writing, uh, polystream beads, electrically charged. And it was Michael who wrote, our gas is pumped from the North Sea. So supply should not be a problem, but they are pushing for fracking and the public are not for it. So, yep, not an excuse. Lying outright. Lying, lying. Lying is not good. It's not good. Detroit, severe weather. Something weird I noticed when I was driving around 7 p.m. A couple bluish green flashes lit up the entire night sky. Thought it was lightning, but the color was weird. Scotland and the transport, everything, it's come to a standstill. Heavy snow, 
has crippled the place. Weird weather even for Scotland. It's pretty bad in New Hampshire as well. Beautiful here. North Carolina. Hi, Debbie. Nothing makes sense. Weather forecasts are not matching up. North Carolina, but I believe North Carolina, some of the subscribers I have live kind of close together. And Debbie, uh, it, your comment doesn't match up to somebody else's comment in North Carolina. And again, I have to preface because a lot of people misinterpret things. I'm not saying Debbie's lying. I'm not saying the other North Carolina subscribers lying. But I'm saying that when you have done the research on weather modification and, and these engineered storms, you really, you know, I do think that they've created chaos, but they do have the capability to zero in on particular areas. Now, do they mean to zero in on those particular areas? Well, you know, no one can know the answer to that. But I am still wondering, is it because these particular areas that got hit hard, are they close to where those, those frequencies intersected? Heavy rain, then four inches of wet snow, high winds, um, had power, no cable. Had power, no cable. Um, not quite sure, but in Parma, Ohio, cars, trucks, troopers ditch, just went into ditches. Yesterday, rain changed to snow. Temperatures dropped. Late afternoon, winds picked up and snow. I woke up early today, and it was probably one to two inches. Clinton, uh, Michigan area. And here, my power is out in western North Carolina. I might be wrong, but I think Debbie, who said it was fine there, lives close to where um, Kelly lives. Crazy high winds here right now, but thankfully the rain is gone. It's rained for weeks here with just a day of sunshine here and here or there. The trees are uprooting everywhere and snapping like twigs. South New Jersey, winds are whipping, snowing here for about an hour, flooding everywhere, trees are down, violent winds, and pressure in the head is amazing. Small amount of rain in northern Vermont. Southeast Michigan, three inches of snow for me, some areas seven inches. And other places got two feet. Inundated here in Belfast with weather warnings. My phone even decided to send me weather warnings from Empoli, Italy, because the GPS was telling me that was where I was. <laughs> okay. It has been snowing, but it isn't like our usual snow. Generally, when it snows here, it doesn't lie around for long, starts to thaw, almost as soon as it falls, but with this recent snow, it seems to be evaporating rather than melting, leaving the ground dry. Hmm. Southeast New York, New Jersey border, the storm's raging, rain turned to snow, sleet earlier than anticipated, the winds are really gusting, at about 60 miles per hour, we just lost power. Northern Michigan. Michigan is quite clear. And clear. Uh, Mom is terrified. Falling trees, loss of power. But I could not find anything on it until today. Then suddenly, boom, weather. Um, and I'm not sure where a seeker lives. Storms moved into Southern California. Authorities ordered a fresh round of evacuations for residents who live near three burn scars with fears of another disaster mounting. Western New York, snow started about 8 p.m. with winds. 
um, just raining in New Jersey. Warm, not cold. Weather station on TV said we could get 60 mile per hour winds. Southeast Michigan, it would have been probably just simply rain, but we've constantly been subjected to what is obviously a chemically induced cool down. About every hour or so, uh, you can easily hear the cruising jet tankers dropping their heavy loads high overhead. In my opinion, we haven't had one single day of natural weather this winter. No, I don't think that many people do have natural winter or weather anymore. But under this um, more recent video just posted today, Central Ohio, yesterday is the first time I ever saw blue skies in almost 17 months. There were obviously false reports that downtown Cleveland was underwater a couple of days ago, being reported on YouTube by channels such as Thor News. I called my son, who works at the hospital there, and they had not even received any rain, let alone flooding. My friend from Long Island, New York, said it was the worst he had ever seen. And guess what? Long Island. A lot of frequencies being set off right there. Not too bad overall here in Connecticut. Weather is perfect in Maui. Well, <laughs> okay. Thank you for reporting that. <laughs> While we here are getting, even when it's nice, so many people have also left comments that even when it's not chemtrailing, they can smell the poisons in the air. But from Connecticut, Thursday night into Friday, um, through Western Mass, drove from Connecticut through Western Mass into upstate New York. I know that. I know that drive. Um, heavy snow and high winds coming back until Westfield, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, at which point it turned directly into rain and heavy winds. Did the same run Friday night into Saturday and occasionally gusty winds coming back on the Massachusetts Pike into the Berkshires. My ears had a piercing pain. Guess what? I've been on that Mass Pike and coming to Massachusetts has a, uh, a radar, an X-Rad, and there are because I lived in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, and that's in the Berkshires. And that's when I started getting hypersensitive to the frequencies. So I was doing a lot of research. And I went on Google Earth. And my God, I spent hours and I was just scrolling around. And there are so many Gwen Towers and so many uh, what look like cell towers in the mountains, in the Berkshires, hidden away from where people can see. It is an extremely, um, there's a high concentration of transmitters right there in that area. But troops and armored personnel carriers patrolling right in Ritchie from Boston's backyard. Apparently YouTube has banned the showing of those videos, but he has one on BitChute. Um, South California. Southern California. Lightly raining, but the sun is out and it stinks. Difficult to breathe. Mild, partly sunny here in Spain. All right. Um, I'm going to go through this quickly. Bombogenesis aftermath. Seven dead after storm rips through northeast, leaving two million without power, destroying homes. But the worst is not over for Boston, where more floods are on their way due to the high tides that came around noon today. So um, seven people have died. Power out for millions. Trees down. Closed roads. Amtrak. New Jersey Transit. Um, and Penn Station. Trains. Sorry. Uh, causing a lot of travel havoc. A lot of flights out of JFK and LaGuardia, LaGuardia and airports in this area 
canceled. Look, guys, this is about disruption. And we're only going to see more and more disruption. And they don't want people traveling anymore. They want them in, you know, their green communities where they give up their cars and you are to rely on public transportation to get to work or rely on your bicycle. That is the point of all of this. Now, there are a lot of different uh, objectives that they have. When we see these events, it's not just one. But when we see so much travel disruption, you know that they're wanting to get people so frustrated that they just give up and then they seek areas where they don't have to travel to work anymore. Um, the seven people dead, there might be more now. Connecticut, Virginia, New York, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, Maryland. Two were teenagers. One, I think, a six-year-old boy. Yes, Amtrak suspended services, um, rescues in the coastal area of Massachusetts, the flooding is bad. National Guard called out to rescue people. You know, some people leave comments saying, oh, you're getting all your reporting from mainstream media, it's all hype, this isn't happening. No, it is happening. It is happening. And I think a lot of people have this idea that if if millions of people are not destroyed, then it's not a big deal. If one person, the guy that owns that truck, they have to deal with the burden of the loss of that truck. And I don't think car insurance covers flooding. So when you add up all of the people affected by these weather events, each one, we had massive flooding just last week in the Midwest or from Texas up to Canada. There's an awful lot of people suffering the consequences. Yeah, frustrated. And, you know, the consequences, the financial burden, you've got trees falling on homes, you've got trees falling on cars. And they bring about this destruction because they keep a tally on the finances. And then they can report things like billions of loss due to climate change. Now, would you like to come out and see that's your car? Don't think so. Washington, D.C. Rubble fell from a partially burned building. Strong winds rattled the fragile house. And trees are snapping and just falling. And you don't need 60 mile per hour winds. Look at all of the fungal disease on this tree. The trees are weakened. You can, you can weaken the soil in ground, in the ground. So when you have high winds, you don't, it's not like the days before when we lived without these electromagnetic frequencies. So when they're shooting these frequencies into the ground, that's causing disruption in the ground. And South Carolina, I drive around here, and I see an awful lot of these poles leaning over, and then they just stick in a pole to try to support it. That 
look at this. It's coming right from the ground. Okay, so that must have been really heavy winds, and yet the awning is absolutely fine. And this sign, you would have expected at least to be bent over or something. These little awnings survive this, but all of these tele, um, these electrical poles came down. God, you know, this is our new normal. New normal. This is the weaponization of weather. And they're going to be bringing this on more and more. We're going to see more and more of this. This isn't stopping. It's going to get worse. Look at these trucks. So, hang on. So, I want to play this for you because I've never seen anything like this, uh, this kind of wind. You can hear the wind whipping as it lifts up one side of this tractor trailer, coming dangerously close to crashing over onto other drivers. I have not seen the wind at that strength on any bridge that I've traveled in my time. It's pretty intense. Bill Morris took the video on the Mario Cuomo Bridge this morning. The truck inches along precariously, looking like it's about to tip over. I wanted to stay away from that um, tractor trailer. Um, if it had tipped, though, it would have uh, tipped on the cars that were next to it in the uh, left-hand lane. Luckily, it didn't, but others on the span did. This trailer tipped over around 10 this morning in the Rockland-bound lanes. A few hours later, this truck was still overturned, with traffic diverted around it, along with this tractor trailer tipped over in the Westchester-bound lanes. <laughs> One driver suffered minor injuries. We just got off the span in Westchester, where you see traffic is moving pretty well. I should mention also there are some issues on some of the other bridges in our area, including the Verrazano Bridge. The upper level completely shut down to all vehicle traffic. Reporting live in Westchester, Andrea Glenn. All right, so that is, um, I would say, strange wind. I. I you let me know, you know, what you think, but we just haven't really seen this kind of weather before. And we're going to be seeing more and more of it. So, just make sure, no matter where you live, no matter where you live, we have heard from so many. Never seen anything like it before. Never seen anything like it before. How many people have been flooded out where they're not living in a floodplain? When man controls the weather, man can bring about an awful lot of destruction. And unfortunately, that destruction, well, it has come to more and more of my subscribers and those of you who are my subscribers you can't think that this is not going to be happening to you and the other thing I want to say is you might want to check your insurance policies because they have those clauses, that small print, hang on, a neighbor is here. Sorry, if this was live stream, you would see and hear all of the interruptions. But um, yeah, check your insurance policies. You know, because insurance companies, the National Insurance Program out of FEMA, 
they sure do have an awful lot in those policies that screw people over. And that is also purposeful, you know, greed. They don't want to pay out claims. A lot of people are having their flood insurance increased. The financial burden of all of this is pretty intense. When it hits you, you get to know. Anyway, guys, let me know what's happening in your areas. I hope you're all safe and nothing really bad happened.